Serious, people who could see but went blind, what's it like? Is it like being in perpetual darkness or something else? Oh, I can answer this. I had some neurological issues when I was younger. Once or twice this resulted in a brief but total loss of vision because my brain stopped processing the input from my eyes or something along those lines. It's nothing. You don't see darkness. It's just nothing. Best way to describe it would be like you're trying to see out of your kneecap. There's nothing to see because your kneecap isn't sending information about sight to your brain. Or it's like asking you to tell me how I look in the infrared spectrum right now. There's no real words to describe the sensation of lacking a sensation. Because it's an oxymoron. Keep in mind too that there's different kind of blindness. What I described is probably similar to the experiences of people who were born blind because of issues with their nervous system. Other people can go blind due to degeneration of the mechanics of the eye itself, which I'd bet is much different. Man that is really hard to process. Like it hurts my brain trying to imagine what that is like. Someone legally blind. Not going blind. I have several friends who are going blind, and they seem to fall into two camps. 1. Their brain tries to fill in the blanks in their blind spots, and it's just a lightly blurred section that they know not to trust. 2. It's just blank, as if nothing is there, light or dark. They can't perceive anything particular there, as it's beyond their ability to see anything there. I lost an eye as a child. It is not darkness. It is nothing. What do you see with your elbow? That's what I see with my prosthetic eye. This is something that my brain can just not conceptualize. I am legally blind in my left eye. It is a problem with how my eyes lined up as a kid, and my brain decided to ignore my left eye. I wore a patch off and on as a kid and had vision as good as 20 stroke 60 before it progressively got worse. I honestly hardly notice it. I had a pretty distinguished career in the military despite it, including shooting top gun often. I always felt bad because I could never do drills some people could, such as shooting with non-dominant hand, at least without some awkward head lean. I suppose, given that it is one eye, I just experienced the world crystal clear with my right eye. When I got metal in that eye, I drove to the hospital, and it was incredibly brutal. I could see the red of a light, but couldn't really gauge distance. Stare at a wall. Now try to look out of the back of your head without moving an inch. All that nothing behind the headband of your vision is what they see. Nothing. Internal screaming. I've always suffered from severe short sight. Then when I was pregnant with my youngest child I was diagnosed with wet macular degeneration. It manifested as a kink in my vision. So, in the one eye I can sort of see out of, the other is redundant due to an extremely severe astigmatism. There's this kink in the world now, the world I see anyway. I've also been diagnosed with cataracts which means my sight is now like looking through a fog. It can be hugely frustrating. I can't read to my children anymore and that breaks my heart. I'll be having surgery to remove the cataracts in the next couple of months. I've just been registered as disabled due to my sight loss. This hit me hard, really hard. I've always been independent and having to ask my 4 year old which bus is coming, amongst other things, is a bitter pill to swallow. So, I see a kind of kinky fog right now. I don't know what will happen when I lose my sight entirely. I do know that the thought of it is utterly terrifying. I'm seeing a lot of total blindness answers, so I'll provide my experience. I experience ocular migraines related to inflammation surrounding one of my ocular nerves. When I get the migraines, I lose all peripheral vision in one eye and can only see pinpoint in that eye for about 20 minutes and then I'm sick in bed for at least a day. What I do see aside from the pinpoint, is this lightning strike zigzag that slowly moves across my field of vision, and blurred colors in the peripheral field. My brain doesn't want to really process what colors I see, though, it's weird. Oh my god this happens to me too. Happened today. No idea what causes it. Except with mine. I'm not sick after. Just gotta sleep it off. Okay. So my eyes are fricked up in a weird way. I can't see thing that flicker fast. Like under fluorescent lights. This means I'm effectively blind in most grocery stores. For me. It's weird as heck I either see blinding white that's so bright I have to close my eyes to dim it, or it's as dark as if the lights were off. 
Warmets are fun because there's little to no other light sources. So for me, it's a near daily experience going from sighted to non-sighted and all the fun that ensues with that. Sort of transient blindness I guess that some might find interesting. I get severe migraines with an atypical visual disturbance, or uh, instead of squiggly lines and such, I lose parts of, or all of my vision. Things like tunnel vision or missing spots of my vision are most interesting to describe. With those, I don't see blackness around a point like looking out a tunnel, or black spots in my vision. Instead, it's like there is no data there. I actually struggle to identify where my blind spots exactly are in my field of view, until I specifically notice it blocking something I'm trying to look at, difficult if it's not in the exact center. With the tunnel vision, even then it's hard to tell when it's happening. Whenever I suspect it might be happening, I have to hold a finger up with my arm outstretched, looking forward, then, continuing looking forward, I'll move it out of my line of sight and work out when I can't see it anymore. Maybe the best comparison, though still not ideal, I could make for people who haven't experienced anything like it is to consider the blind spot that your nose blocks. Our brain filters out the nose, but we don't see a great big black spot, there's just no information there. This is not answering the question, but responding to all your comments that say blind people will not see this post or cannot use read it. Yes we can use read it and can see this post just fine. We can use technology just like anyone else. We use screen reader. So please stop with those comments. Well. I'm not blind but over the past 2 months a vision in one of my eyes has gone from near perfect to I can't see the poster on the wall anymore. I'm scared. Before I get a migraine, I get blind spots and I had a bad one a couple of years ago where my vision left me, apart from a very small tunnel of vision in my right eye. It is like everyone has described. I was at a client's house. I was a care walker at the time, and I just couldn't see her even though she was right in front of me. I knew she was there, I could see blurry colors and light, I was aware of my spatial surroundings, and navigating with the vision I had I managed to finish the call and get home. I felt like I must have looked like a chameleon trying to see things with the one eye, but I guess the best way to describe what I felt, is like when you open your eyes underwater, you can't see anything, but you still have awareness of the space you are in, closing covering my eyes, I still see darkness, and it makes the world feel smaller and confusing, but when this happens, it doesn't feel so claustrophobic. From what I read from this thread is it's the same as when you imagine what's behind you without looking or knowing exactly what's behind you. Why thank you for that. While I was reading this thread I never could quite figure out what everybody was writing. Now, that you summarized the thread in your comment, I can finally move on with my life. I suffered from a brief bout of blindness after head trauma. I could sort of see, but it was more like looking through a kaleidoscope. Everything was a blurry blob of color without a defined start or end. Everything just blended together. Like, if you unfocus your eyes and cross them, that's a very rough idea of what I was seeing. Or, not seeing. I don't remember what the exact term is for this specific type of vision loss. It was 7 years ago and I was rather concussed. But, if permanent, it is indeed classed as blindness. I'm not entirely blind, but I'm blind in my right as a result of cancer. There are days it becomes my biggest weakness. I can drive fine, hold down a job fine, but some days I walk into table corners, bang my elbow on stuff X, or heck my fiance pointed out the sodas I was looking for at Walmart the other day after I had walked past them three times, because they were on my right side. I privately admit the feet a lot because of it, unfortunately. I don't know about blindness, but eye migraines are a freaking trip. Like really, it makes everything look like I'm on acid, and I get blind spots in my vision. It's not painful at all, just really weird. The first time it happened I legit thought I was losing my vision. I get these migraines quite often and always see them spots. I lost my sight when I was 13. Yeah I guess it's just like being in the dark all the time. Although it's been so long I don't quite remember anymore how being in the dark when you could still see is like. Someone has probably posted this already but I remember reading something like the best way to see what it's like is to close your left eye. Now describe what you see out of your left eye. I see darkness. 
but completely blind people here say that it's not like darkness but nothingness. It's hard to comprehend but in most cases you just see nothing. Close your eyes and try to see out of the back of your head. You can't. I used to go blind from stress. It was not fun. It either was like TV static, or like the entire world was suddenly in the corner of my eye, if that makes sense. Also stressful as all heck. I may not be completely blind, but I'm legally blind, and have gradually lost vision over time. When I was 7 or 8 I was diagnosed with cataracts, fogging of the inner lens, and I didn't have my surgery to replace my lenses until I was 10 11. What it's like to lose vision really depends on what you have and how fast it takes over. For me, I didn't really notice my cataracts until very specific situations. For some reason I would notice it most after I had gone for a swim. The way I could describe what it looked like for me was the center of my vision always looked like I was in a very smoky area. It was very annoying. I've always had eye issues, as I was born with corneal dystrophy, nystagmus, and an astigmatism among other things. Do I can't really explain what it's like to go from 20 stroke 20 vision to 20 stroke 300 vision. It's all I have known. But I could try to describe it as a camera that is focused on something very close, and is locked that way, IDK, a little bit of a random addition. But I also have these little blind spots in my right eye that just don't really comprehend much. They can only really slightly detect light. It's very disorienting. That made no sense. But that's the best way I can describe it. It's more in depth than how I explained it though. Thanks for putting up with my inconsistent rambling. Anything thing I could add is that I've gotten secondary cataracts several times after my initial surgery. It can be a very sudden thing. When they become apparent really quickly it can be like a migrate aura. That's what it was like for me. When I was younger and the weather was hot I would lose my vision for about 15 seconds every time I stood up quickly. I was so used to it that I would stand up at the end of class spot my path and start walking. My vision would tunnel out quickly to complete blindness. I perceived this for some reason as grey but could see nothing. My vision would fade in from a sort of static after about 5-10 seconds. I just used sound and touch to navigate. Pretty sharp vision but an issue with my spinal fluid pressure causes stress on my retinal nerve, leading to an enlarged blind spot. Most people don't notice theirs, but it's like a tiny black hole in my vision, even to the point its edges distort things like one, aka if I'm in a car looking at the street lines and the line goes through my blind spot, it looks like the line curves around the edge. You don't see black which is why you don't notice it unless you focus on it. It's a really interesting sensation once you learn how to find yours, and you watch objects disappear moving into it. I had the same question once and a person told me to cover my right eye, then asked me, what do you see with it? Me. Nothing. I'm not blind but I heard it's like closing one eye and trying to see out of your closed eye. It's just nothing you don't even see black. I think it's different for each individual. For me, I just see a mix of black, brown, grey, white and more rarely but sometimes everything from red to yellow. I was born with 6 months instead of 9. In the 90s in some small city in Brazil we didn't had laser surgery so I did my eye surgery with cryogenate LDR my retina detached and my left eye is blind. It's basically like there is nothing because your eye is shut off from your brain. Hold up, I can answer this and I'm only half blind. It's not like darkness or anything it's just not there. But sometimes when I'm acknowledging my blindness I kinda get a feeling that is almost like if someone were to put an eye patch over a perfectly functioning eye. This is probably going to be the answer from, like, 90% of everyone. I went blind in one eye once from an ocular migraine. At first it was like sparkly TV static and then after a few minutes it was a completely blank spot in my vision, and then completely blank out of that eye. Vision came back like 2 hours later but that was terrifying. Got off that birth control real frickin fast. The optic nerve in my right eye has atrophied. So, I can see an image for a few seconds but it rapidly fades like a photograph. This will definitely not be seen, but I went blind for about a minute as a child, around 11 maybe, to this day I have no idea what caused it. My mother was doing my hair and I was standing up and told her I felt very tired and wanted to sit. She told me just a few more minutes, 
and then all of a sudden my vision to both eyes just cut out completely. Seeing as this wasn't actual damage to the optic nerve, my vision recovered. It was actually just darkness. Total darkness couldn't see my hand held an inch from my face or changes in light. It was just as if someone put a black cloak behind my eyeball or where I receive vision. It slowly started trickling and crackling back in like static after laying down. My guess would be it was something related to fainting, but not quite as I was conscious and screaming the whole time. Never happened again. Surely a pressure drop. You probably had low blood pressure at the time for any reason, and when you stood up it went below a certain threshold where you experienced symptoms like vision loss but not enough to actually faint. Happened to me a few times, in some of them I actually fainted right after, in others I just sat down and it slowly got back to normal. Question kind of unrelated to blindness, but if you are only looking through one eye you should no longer be able to perceive depth right? Because what makes an image three dimensional, the third dimension being depth, is that you have both eyes open viewing an object simultaneously from two angles merging an image. So you can see this object takes up space because you're seeing some of the depth. Logic could be flawed there, so if you put your hand in front of your face and move it normally you can see some of the curves but when you have one eye closed it's kind of like watching a movie. I don't know I honestly think I honestly might have a weak depth perception which could be possibly due to dyslexia, and what I see with both eyes open is pretty similar to what I see with only one. So I'm wondering if this is the case for everyone, or if I am lacking in depth perception. I have partial blindness in my right eye, I can see through it, but when compared to my left it's easy to tell a difference. The best way I can describe it is like trying to focus on something while looking through a screen door. You can see what's going on on the other side but trying to grab all the details is incredibly difficult. I lost an eye on college. Unlike some other comments I do see black out of that eye. Possibly because the connection to the brain is still there but the eye itself is blind. The adjustment was more frustrating than anything. I suffer from severe migraines that sometimes very rarely, result in me losing eyesight. It starts off as a small dot in the corner of my vision and gradually grows and spreads to both eyes. It ends with me not being able to see anything but white and grey dots, kinda like a TV on the fritz but blurred. The blindness generally lasts about 2-3 to three minutes, but the longest it's lasted is 15 minutes. I had a brain hemorrhage at 18. It was on the part of the brain that processes vision. I still have vision but I did lose a small field of it. My blind spot is literally nothing. No darkness. No swirling colors. Nothing. It's like trying to look behind you without turning. It's just nothing. My girlfriend has glaucoma and is slowly going totally blind as well as deaf. Meneers. Some days she wakes up unable to see due to her eye up. She says she really doesn't mind those days anymore. If they didn't come with pain she wouldn't care because she's known she'd go blind and have gotten to see so much of the world while she can. For her it's not so much darkness but like everything glazed over with thick frosted glass. She can see just enough to avoid a wall and knows our house layout well enough to make it around. And then her eye up will lower and she can see better as it reduces. My dad lost his sight due to diabetes and I've talked with him about it a lot. When no one is there to tell him what color something is, he just makes it whatever color he wants, and everything else he just goes by feel. Basically juxtaposes an image from what he remembers something looks like. He seems to get along okay but it still hurts to see him without his sight. I had LASIK surgery. They apply pressure to your eyeballs and because of that you temporarily lose your vision. To me it was a sort of gray. I've never been blind, but I saw this question on some other thread on here and someone described it really well. They said try closing one eye and trying to see out of it. That's what being blind is like. There is actually nothing at all. No darkness or stimulation of any sort. That's actually kinda scary tbh. I guess this is sort of a weird question but do you all who are blind see the colors and shapes and what not if say I was to just close my eyes? It's hard to describe. Hi, this happened to me when I was about to turn 13. I lost my sight due to a condition known as Sedotoma Cerebri. It sucked. It basically blurred everything to crap. I still saw light and vague colors but everything else was as if I was in heavy, heavy fog. 11 years later and I can see, and drive, 
Good to have my life back. I went blind two years ago. Try pressing your thumbs to your eyelids for a while. You will start seeing colors in strange patterns, and it will hurt. Without the hurting, that's what it's like. I only went blind in one eye for just a few minutes, woke up from sleep so maybe longer, about 3 years ago, doctors think it was either a mini, stroke or some particle in my bloodstream from the hole in my heart they found when I went to the hospital, anyway I perceived it as total black, no depth, no shades of black just black, I could wave my hand in front of my face and see it in my good eye but in the blind one I couldn't even see a change in darkness as my hand passed in front of it. Later on I wondered was it actually black, because isn't that a color, which means I must have been seeing something, in reality I guess it was just my brain trying to make sense of not receiving any signals from that eye. Okay, everyone says they see nothing because obviously there's no information signaling to their brain, well for me, I have Stargate syndrome, some sort of macular degenerarian in the center, and basically I'm blind in the center. As there are no rods and cones I think because they died out or there's some stuff accumulating there that basically blocks it. So I still see peripherally and it's only the very small center spot. I have a visual capacity of less than 30%. Well, sometimes I really focus on my blind center spot by looking at something I know that there. By looking next to that object firstly. And it looks grayish. First I didn't notice I had it. I just noticed I looked at my hand and couldn't see the lines of my palm but not black. It's easily comparable to your actual blind spot every human has. You know these tests with an X and O where you look at one letter and the other one disappears? Basically like that, yeah. A pretty good analogy that I've seen in other questions like this is, close your left eye and keep your right eye open. Ask yourself what you see from your right eye. Now ask yourself what you see in your left eye. It isn't just black, it's as if it isn't there at all. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video. Bye for now.